Well, hello there. I am Dom. Did ChatGPT just straight up lie to you? Sounds shocking, right? You've probably heard the rumors that ChatGPT will replace Google search. But what if I told you that's far from the truth? You are spot on with your doubts. ChatGPT isn't an encyclopedia. Don't use it like a database. It's a cost-effective, speedy reasoning engine. Now, a common misconception is that AI, like ChatGPT, lies. But that's not quite right. When people start interacting with ChatGPT, they often ask it questions to check its knowledge, dates, and things. It's a common human tendency to evaluate someone's intelligence based on factual knowledge. But that's not how we should approach AI. So first, let's address the elephant in the room. Another common misconception is giving up on ChatGPT after it hallucinates. Yes, it can hallucinate, but more often than not, it's right. It all depends on the prompt. So let me repeat that. ChatGPT should not be used to check facts if it's a mission critical. It's possible to get the rightness close to 99% by prompting, but you probably didn't know that when you started using ChatGPT. So you might ask, how should you approach AI like ChatGPT? Treat it as a cheap logical engine. Use it as a reasoning tool or another point of view for double checking. Use it for creativity. Creativity is not knowledge. It's based on knowledge, but it's the ability to generate new things. That's why generative AI, we use the term Gen AI. And yes, sometimes it generates pure bullshit, among other results. And now, if you're advanced, you can use prompting that will verify things for you. Or you can chain tools to verify and repeat the task until it gets right. It's possible to automate that. And that is how AI applications are done today. So ChatGPT is the interface for raw access to this AI model. And so treat it as a privilege and learn how to use it the same way you learn how to use Google search when you were a beginner internet user. Okay, that's it. Very quick. So next time you interact with ChatGPT, remember it's not a database. It's a reasoning engine. Use it wisely and it can be an incredible tool for creativity, reasoning, and getting a different perspective. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Basically, you can use this video to share it to someone when you have a conversation about ChatGPT lying or AI hallucinations. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. May the AI force be with you.